I believe that in the future, whoever holds Alaska will hold the world. I think that it is the most important strategic place in the world. U.S. Air Force General Billy Mitchell speaking to Congress in 1935. America's last frontier comprises 660,000 square miles of pristine and unforgiving terrain. Alaska makes the United States an Arctic nation, and its strategic location has a broad and fundamental national security interest. As activity in the Arctic increases, it's more important than ever to ensure the safety and security of our citizens. The Department of Defense, through U.S. Northern Command and Alaskan Command, held Arctic Edge 2018 to ensure that our military is trained and equipped to safely operate in Arctic environments. This world is uncertain. Uh, our senior leaders have an expectation that we should be building readiness on a daily basis. And I personally think the greatest form of military power is getting the joint team together and uh, appreciating our limitations and capabilities and how to go ahead and optimize that collective team. So the purpose of the exercise is to ensure uh, we have an appreciation where the critical infrastructure is in Alaska, and making sure that we're prepared and postured to, if and when required, to conduct our contingencies successfully. We're kind of validating how we move in austere uh, environments, and especially how to go ahead and thrive in the extreme cold weather operations. Approximately 1,500 soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines from 20 units located across the United States came together to execute Arctic Edge. Four, four. We can't predict the environment that we're going to be called to perform in, and Alaska is a very unique environment and some of the toughest conditions on the planet, and if we can perform here, then uh, there's, there's virtually nowhere else that we can't perform. Well, we're always stronger together, and there's no power like joint power. And uh, if we practice joint, uh, we're going to be that much more capable if we go do this for real anywhere in the world. We don't know where we're going to deploy next. Uh, we don't know what sister services we're going to have to operate with. Uh, for, for, for my company and our Marines, uh, even down in JVR, we got to do uh, a few uh, ranges with the Army there. And, and even at the squad level, uh, they, it was a learning experience for them learning how the Army does uh, you know, certain infantry tactics, the, the, the Army looking at how we do it, uh, and then kind of seeing who does it uh, better or different and what's more effective, all for the overall goal of just getting better at closing with the enemy. Arctic Edge also provided a unique opportunity to integrate special operations forces and conventional soldiers and Marines. We learn their capabilities um, and their limitations in this type of environment. Uh, the team that we did work with uh, was very professional and I think um, one of the largest takeaways for those in my team that have not operated in a conventional infantry platoon, uh, they were able to learn uh, you know, the, the task organization and then how the structural breakdown works and then also how to integrate in those units to best serve the purpose to accommodate the mission. It has been nearly three decades since the last large-scale joint military exercise in the Arctic, and the lessons learned from this exercise will guide the development of the tactics, techniques, and procedures that will be used during Arctic Edge 2020.